Dr. Amrita from healthwellbridge.com. Today I'm going to talk about sound pollution, crackers and hearing. Five facts you must know. Diwali is a load of fun, but in order to have a safe Diwali, you need to be careful. One of the major worries during Diwali other than fire hazards is a risk of noise induced hearing loss. It can be temporary or permanent. Acoustic trauma is a more serious condition. The good news is this year, the Supreme Court is serious about preventing air and noise pollution. But this kind of proactiveness we need throughout the year. Sound pollution is real and can destroy the quality of life forever. Your local policeman will be the person responsible for preventing bursting illegal crackers at the rock time. If they don't prevent it or fail to do so, they run the risk of being hauled in front of the Honorable Court for contempt. What I don't understand is why won't sensible Indians think about their own health and wellness? Diwali is a festival of lights. Why make it defending? Truth number one about firecrackers and hearing. The sound which is loud enough to cause damage to your inner ear may cause permanent hearing loss. This is not reversible. Up to 75 decibel sound levels will generally cause temporary hearing loss. Acoustic trauma occurs when there is one time sudden exposure to very high sound pressure levels, usually at around 130 decibel. Sound crackers can cause this damage. Noise induced hearing loss, it typically occurs when the sound exposed is very high, sufficient time to cause damage. If temporary recovery will occur within the first two days. In the audiometry report, it will appear as a steep auditory notch at mainly the 4 kilohertz. This temporary depression may disappear after minutes or hours. Truth number two. What will you feel? There might be a sudden ringing, buzzing, whizzing sound or tinnitus. Partial hearing loss may also be present. This will depend on the distance and intensity of the sound that you have been exposed to. And this may or may not progress. There may be perforation of the tympanic membrane with or without bleeding from the ear. Truth number three, precautions you can take. Don't use crackers which cause loud explosion. Use crackers which have light, which do not pollute air, do not have a sound pollution component. If you are in a locality where such activities are usual, try to keep a distance from these crackers. Use acoustic blockers if needed. Visit your nearest emergency ENT services and get an audiometry done if you have any symptoms. Don't buy Chinese crackers because they may contain chemicals at non-permissible levels and can even have higher sound levels. Check the sound level specified in the crackers. Buy only when it is within the specified level. Truth number four, treatment. Sudden hearing loss following acoustic trauma. Your doctor may prescribe steroids and neuroprotective drugs. Eardrop perforation, repair or conservative treatment depending on the size of the perforation. We can wait up to three months for the eardrum to repair automatically through your healing mechanism. If it does not repair or gets infected during that time, it might need surgical intervention. Hearing loss. We need to do a hearing aid trial and if there is a hearing loss, a hearing aid might be needed. With sudden severe profound losses or profound losses, you might require a cochlear implant. Unfortunately, there is no foolproof treatment for tinnitus or the ringing sound that happens following sound trauma. Truth number five, what does the law say about loud noise? According to the Environment Protection Act 1986 and the Environment Protection Rule 1986 and 1999, the manufacture, sale or use of these firecrackers which generate noise levels exceeding 125 decibel or 145 decibel at four meters distance from the point of bursting shall be prohibited. How many people know this? The Explosive Rules 2008, Rule number 14 mandates that every manufacturer shall on the box of each firecracker mention details of its chemical content, sound level, and that it should satisfy requirements laid down by the chief controller. The problem is very few of us care enough to look at the label of the firecrackers. May light of Diwali make you blessed. Have a wonderful Diwali.